Is there any surprises you'd like to tease today? Oh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> I have no information. <laughs> Cedar Fair and Wonderland, we're always looking for ways to add value and keep things exciting for guests. So what better than a world record breaking dive coaster and b and to, to boot um, to make things more exciting for our guests and to, I think, solidify our position as the premier music park in Canada, but also, you know, raise us up in, um, in terms of um, international stature too. What can we expect walking into Frontier Canada? So our, our new themed area next year, Frontier Canada, is supposed to be all about the Klondike Gold Rush of the late 1890s in Northwestern Canada. So we're looking to bring that to life and bring a piece of Canada's history to life. So, you know, the, the theming of um, the boom towns that would have been around back then, a lot of the inspiration for Frontier Canada, the landscape and the buildings that you're going to see, comes from actually the buildings that existed in Dawson City um, around that time. What phase of construction are you in for Yukon Striker? So the, the construction has been going on since January of this year. Um, so lots, a lot has happened. The track itself is probably 80 to 85% done and we're hoping to wrap that up at the end of the month. Um, but we all we have lots to come still. We still need to do a lot of electrical work. Plus, we're going to be building up the station, putting up the steel. Currently, right now, um, we're running the uh, electrical conduit to the power center in the station. But we've got to build out the queue lines. We've got to um, erect a few more buildings, and we have um, a lot of testing to happen. the The trains themselves are arriving early next year. And so those are going to go on the track. We have to install the uh, lift hill chain. So that's going in early next year. And uh, tons of testing to be done. So our water dummies are going to be taking the first rides, hundreds of cycles. And we're going to be testing every aspect of the coaster and um, simulating different kinds of errors and situations so that we make sure the ride responds properly. And we're looking to open to the public in April 2019. What sort of reaction are you aiming for when guests step foot into Frontier Canada? So I think when guests come to Frontier Canada, we want them to feel immersed in, you know, that time of the Klondike Gold Rush. And there will be a little bit of education, I think, involved because it is a piece of history and um, people need to appreciate, you know, what prospectors were having to do then and um, the kinds of lives they were living. But certainly from the look of the buildings and the landscape, we want people to feel like they're in you know, Dawson City or another boom town in Northwestern Canada in the 1890s. Pause. <laughs> are you able to tell us... Um, here, oh, sorry, I'm moving around. Are you able to tell us um, when like, uh, you'll announce like, further information about Frontier Canada, or is that undisclosed yet? <clears throat> Still. Um, I, I would expect that in early new year. Okay. We'll be, able to, we'll be able to talk more about what you're going to be able to expect in um, the 2019 season as to what comes in future years. I mean, that'll be... Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you could sum up Canada's Wonderland future in one word, what would it be? Exciting. I don't... I mean, that's not a very creative word, but <laughs> honestly, I mean, next year with Yukon Striker coming and us opening up in the winter for Winterfest, um, like just next year alone is just going to be mind blowing for our guests and so I hope everybody really enjoys the new things we're bringing. What is the direction and goal of Cedar Fair is aiming for with the investments of a hotel, Winterfest and a world record coaster? So I can't speak for the Cedar Fair executives, however I can sort of echo comments that have been made by our CEO Richard Zimmerman in that um, the investments that are being made here um, give, you know, um, added value to our guests. It's coming up with new ways to have fun and um, that only goes you know, towards 
making people more excited about coming to the park and again solidifying our place as a premier amusement park in Canada but also the world. Um, so I think that's, that's what this investment is going to bring for us and we continue to do that. I mean that is always an ongoing goal. What is the parks and Cedar Fair's reaction to the massive success of the announcement of Yukon Striker has had around the world? Well, that, I mean, uh, I haven't, it, my job was easy this year because the coaster kind of sells itself, right? So when news broke about uh, Yukon Striker coming, um, yeah, that, that just spread like wildfire. I mean, the international uh, news outlets were picking it up, we were seeing it everywhere, the talk was, was massive. And we hope that excitement continues in the new year. But I know everybody was was thrilled to see it be um, embraced so readily by everyone. Is this the beginning, middle, or end of Frontier Canada's expansion? So I think it's fair to say, with this being its first year in coming, I mean, um, Frontier Canada was obviously long in the works because it was supposed to be one of the original five sections when the park opened in 1981. That got shelved, but. Um, in bringing it back, I think it's fair to say that this is the beginning of Frontier Canada. Um, and there'll be more to come in future years. All right, so based off of your amazing posts online, and may we add thank you so much for being so active um, and inclusive, uh, what has been your favorite part so far on this journey? Uh, well, I, I pinch myself all the time about this job because I have so much fun doing this. And um, I have to say, um, just getting to tell people about this place and everything that it has to offer um, overall is the best part because I get to sell fun, you know, and I grew up in this park. Now I bring my kids to this park and lucky for me, I mean, I actually enjoy roller coasters and all the thrill rides. So, you know, having to ride Yukon Striker dozens and dozens of times next year is going to be great. So I really enjoy what I do, but um, getting to sell the fun of this place is the best. Awesome. Uh, so as you know, we've been working on the construction since January and it's going to wrap up in April 2019. Um, throughout this time, we've had about 50 tradespeople on site. So that's like doing electrical work, we've got civil engineers, architects, landscape architects, iron workers, um, the erection crew for getting the track up. And um, the track itself, um, I think we totaled out, it consists of 107 track pieces that have been put together. So it really is a puzzle. And you know how massive it is because it's 50% you know, wider than Leviathan's track um, because of the train weight that it's going to have. Uh, so the columns are massive too, and we have um, a total of 42 support columns that went up, are going up. I think they may all be up by now. And, um, and because of the weight of the track and the trains, they're actually really massive. I think the largest one is over a meter in diameter, and the tallest one will be the single one that's under the, uh, the top of the lift hill, and I think it's at a, at a height of 63 meters. So that's pretty fun. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I love stats. <laughs> Fun stats. <laughs> awesome. Um, so many people may not know, but the rails on Yukon Strikers track is actually filled partially with sand, and that's to dampen the noise effect. Um, because in previous years, it was found that um, you know the sound just reverberated over the neighborhoods that were nearby, and we needed to retrofit a uh, track that we had to um, to quiet that down. And so, as a solution now. Prior to installation, these, these things are made with some sands inside to quiet the track noise. Awesome. All righty. Um, so that was super exciting today at Wonderland. A uh, huge thank you to Grace Peacock and Canada's Wonderland for providing us that behind the scenes tour today. And I can't wait for you guys to see the footage tonight. Um, I'm just on my way home. I'm going to start editing the footage. I wanted to get this interview up for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed um, the interview. There's a lot of like little minor uh, bits of information there that you could use for future years at Wonderland as well. So again, a huge thank you to the park and Grace. We are working on a pretty big documentary for Yukon Strikers. So I really appreciate this awesome behind the scenes tour. Anyway, stay tuned for more footage tonight. Thanks so much for subscribing. Don't forget to like the video and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.